Hi, yeah, it is Lucy back bringing you some more Round Assassin's Creed one. Brotherhood Manhunt action. We are playing in San Donato, which is definitely one of my favourite maps in the game. And if you can see on the screen, the lovely little Miss Helly has made her return. She's just jogging off all adorable like towards her first target. My team in this game was my fellow boob member and right hand clown buddy, Alex. The lovely, adorable subject 16 who's very very talented skills gave my channel um, it's look of paint that you can see at the moment I linked his YouTube and his Twitter on my channel so please go and give him some love he really does deserve it he's a great guy and a brilliant friend so go and say a big thank you to him and give him some cuddles he likes them and the fourth but not least member of our team is Hunty who will probably complain at me for calling him Hunty and not his full name, but you know why? There is a reason for that. I am scared that I'm going to pronounce it wrong. The threats that he gives me, my personal stalker, you just, you would quake in fear. I live in constant fear every day that I'm going to walk out of my house and he's going to jump out of a bush and go troll at me. It is a hard life, but you know, I put up with him because, yeah, he's an alright teammate, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, getting on to the game, you know, the first round of Manhunt is the offensive round and you want to go after your targets and try and get some kills on the board, get a good lead over the other team. Um, our targets were being played as the executioner this time around, so, you know, we're just going to try and figure out where they are. Use the compass to try and get some kills on them. I tried to jump in the bush here and get a hidden on him, but for some reason his stun pulled me back and I got a nice little naked kick in the back. Which Miss Helly really doesn't like it when big burly men kick her up the bum. So now with more increased anger she is going to go after her next target. See who's closest to feel the wrath of her daggers. Now Manhunt is one of those modes, you know, it's it's in the name where you really have to rely on a good team, having a good team at your back. You have the lead. When you try and get into game modes, if you're just playing with randoms, it can be really frustrating because people tend to then go after kills and don't really care about the other teammates. They just want to try and get the best score possible. But if you're playing with a good team that know how to lock share and target share and are more concerned about the rest of their team getting their streaks and the team score then you, you know you're gonna lead. do well you're gonna do much better than playing with random so I always recommend you know, trying to you find a good team lead. some good friends to play with and at that point in the game I was going 16 -y, he's poisoned walk away Sixteeny has a little bit of habit of intercepting my poisons. Um, I'm kidding, he doesn't do it all the time. Only occasionally. But when he does, he does it in style. <laughs> I love you, Sixteeny. And that is another bonus, really, of playing with a good team. You know, people that you know. The amount of times playing with randoms that poisons get intercepted or oh, it, it gets really really frustrating and that's I mean you can probably tell on my profile set I switched to fast acting poison when I'm playing in team modes I don't usually like using fast acting poison you get less points than the slow acting poison but you know it's less chance that someone's gonna intercept it and I like attempting to use poison in a team game because you know, it gives you much more points on the board than just wandering around killing. So if you can get a poison off, it really does help to increase your score on your offence round. It's always good fun to wander up to a target that's just punched one of your teammates, slip a nice poison onto his back, giggle while he dies nice and slowly, contemplating his own demise, unable to stun or do anything else. You know, if a situation like that crops up, the best thing that you should do, the first thing that you should do, is thank your teammate for being a good meat shield. You know, the sacrifice that they just made on your behalf should always go rewarded. And it might make them feel a little bit better about getting punched in the face. You know, stunning isn't, being stunned isn't always a failure. Sometimes it works out well. 
in the end. So, you know, your manners. Be grateful when your teammates make a sacrifice on your behalf. That is Lucy's manhunt tip of the day. Be nice to your teammates. So we've come to the end of the first round. You know, we're in first place. We've got an okay lead over the team, but we're going to want to um, keep that. Maybe hold on and increase it a little bit by kicking them up the bum as much as we can. Sometimes when if you come up against another decent team in Manhunt, it's a little bit trickier to stunlock them Round in the way that you three. might have seen in the last video that I did. You know, if players know what they're doing, they know where their triangle button is, they're going to white out as quickly as they can. I mean, sometimes you find stubborn players that just refuse to white out and rather wait for their teammates to come and, um, come and save them. And sometimes, you know, it's a good strategy. Uh, your team doesn't get broken up as much then and you don't have to wander back into try and finding them after you respawn back in. But in my opinion, if you can press the triangle button as quickly as you can, it probably works out better than giving your team points over and over again. And as you can see, I just got shot there by that wonderful executioner who's so good at the game he needs to use his gun from two feet away. Now, I know in a previous video I mentioned how offensive smoke bombs really annoy me and that is one of the things right there that annoy me more than offensive smoke bombs. You know, I can see the plus sides of the gun in the game. It has its advantages in places and I definitely wouldn't um, slag off anyone that used it you know, in a positive kind of way. Sometimes if you get into a match and your targets do nothing but run off into the distance or you're in a particularly roofy map, the gun can come in really, really handy. And I expect that that's what it was put in there for. But when you wander up to a team, especially in Manhunt, you wander up to a team that's blended in, your teammates are behind your back, or even worse, one of your teammates are wandering in stealthily to get a kill, and you shoot them from two feet away for a hundred points. I, I just don't get that. Apart from, you know, maybe obviously trying to troll or annoy your teammates, I don't understand why people would do that. You only get a hundred points for it. You know, even rushing in, and killing someone on a discreet, you get 150 points, which is more than that. For a chase kill, you get 100 points, which is the same as that. I, I just, I don't understand why people use the gun from that distance. I, I just, you know, I don't get it. There's a little Lucy rant of the day there. And so as far as this defense round goes, you know, we're maybe not doing as well as we would have liked to hope. We haven't managed to just unlock the other team that much because they're, they're tending to stick together and they're not getting very high scoring kills. Their objective seems to be just to take us out as quickly as they possibly can. I mean, as you can see there, they're constantly in high profile and going for chases. I tend to find when you come across a team like that, your best bet, you know, other than running away, which I personally don't like is to do just try and stand your ground man up a little bit and try and fight them back you know get maybe one or two stuns before they kill you because even though you're gonna die and you're gonna end up with a few deaths on the thing they're gonna get less kills for killing you than you are for stunning one or two of them so you know they're not gonna catch up with your score and they're not gonna win um, it can be frustrating in this game, especially in, yeah. in all modes, not just Manhunt, when you come across people that literally do as the other team are doing here and just chase kill you, run around constantly. But, you know, the only advice that I can sort of give for that is, you know, don't get frustrated. The worst thing that you can do in this game on any mode is get frustrated. I know myself personally, when I get frustrated, I end up playing horribly, I end up making silly little mistakes and it's just, it's not good. And don't change your pro, your personal playing style to, you know, compensate for what the other players are doing. You know, if a player wants to run around and get chase kills left them, they're not going to get high points and, and if you just, you know, keep it nice and slow and play stealthily, you know, you're going to win with a lot less kills. Than they got and that's personally something that I really enjoy doing 
is coming to an end of the game and having so many less remaining. kills than second place um, and a lot more points, you know. Um, <laughs> recently someone trolled me and said this, but it is very true. In this game, it is quality over quantity, or that's how it should be anyway. So, you know, don't get frustrated, don't get annoyed, don't change your personal playstyle to suit the chasers and the runners, you know, just let them do it. Um, that's really all I can say for that and you know we're coming to the end of the match then my team won by a considerable amount of points over the other team which you just goes to you know show those. the things that I've been saying um, there's a little bonus clip at the end of this that I hope you enjoy um, if you like comment rate subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video bye I'll see you soon Yeah.